वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट स्टेमिंग इन नेचुरल लैंग्वेज प्रोसेसिंग इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट लेमेटाइजेशन इन नेचुरल लैंग्वेज प्रोसेसिंग बिफोर मूविंग फॉरवर्ड इफ यू न्यू टू दिस चैनल प्लीज टू हेट द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड टर्न ऑन बेल नोटिफिकेशन टू स्टे अपडेटेड ईच टाइम आई अपलोड ए न्यू वीडियो स्टे ट्यून So if you're wondering what lemmatization is, lemmatization is a process of reducing a word into its root form or canonical form. This root word is known as a lemma and it can be mostly found in the dictionary. So when compared to stemming, which basically chops off the end of the word to perform stemming, lemmatization considers the context of the word and it reduces it into a meaningful base form. Now that we have an idea of lemmatization, let us look at how to perform lemmatization using Python code. For this tutorial, we will be using one of the most popular lemmatizers, that is, the WordNet lemmatizer from Enrique. So let's head over to Jupyter Notebook. WordNet is basically a lexical database of the English language. This simply means that WordNet has all prominent English words along with their meanings. The WordNet lemmatizer can be downloaded and used for NLTK library. So let's go ahead and import the NLTK and load the lemmatizer. Now I have created a sample set of words and a sentence to perform lemmatization on. I am using the same example that we use for stemming so that we can compare the results. Now let's perform lemmatization on the words. So what we are doing here is we are creating a for loop that goes through each word in a words list and then prints the original word along with the lemmatized word. And now let's run it. As you can see, all the words are reduced to their root forms. Now to show you how it differs from stemming, I'll add a screenshot of the output that we got when we perform stemming on the same words. Now if you want to check out my video on stemming, I'll add a link to it in the description below as well. Let's now perform lemmatization on the sentence. So as I said in the previous video, the input to the lemmatizer must be a tokenized text. So to do that, first we need to tokenize the text data. And now let's perform lemmatization on our sentence. Now we have the lemmatized sentence. You might be thinking, wait, aren't these two sentences the same? Well, I would say to take a closer look. Can you spot the difference? Let me know in the comment section below. I'll also add a screenshot of the output that we got when we perform stemming so you can have a better understanding of the two techniques. Now when you perform lemmatization, the output changes when you specify the context. This is done by providing the part of speech or the POS. Let's set the POS for the sentence as a verb and see the change in output. I am setting the POS as a verb, we denotes verb. Now here also there is a small change in the output. Can you spot the difference? Let me know in the comment section below. So now you might be having a question in mind, stemming or lemmatization, which one should you use? Well, this depends mainly on the application that you are trying to do. 
but I do have some points for you to consider to make your decision easier. Even though stemming and lemmatization reduces the word into its root form, the stem word might not be an actual word, but the lemma is an actual word. Stemming uses an algorithm to perform stemming, hence making it faster. Whereas for lemmatization, it scans the word in its corpus, making it slower compared to stemming. To obtain the required lemma, we need to specify the correct part of speech tag. Hope that gave you some ideas to make your decisions easier. That brings us to the end of this video. Hope you got an idea of implementing WordNet lemmatization in Python. Don't forget to leave a like and hit that subscribe button if you like my content. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.